Hello everyone. What do you think of when you hear about scary animals? Perhaps lions or tigers, or maybe even an aggressive bison, or maybe sharks, although they're technically fish. No, today we'll be talking about different kinds of living creatures. They are more than capable of scaring other animals, but not thanks to their huge size or sharp fangs. Want to know more about them? Then let's get it on. Mustelids all of these animals belong to the mustelids family. And look, okay, let's be honest, they look adorable. Fluffy fur, cute ears, beady eyes. Seems like a perfect pet, right? They might look cute, but they're considered one of the fiercest, most ferocious, and bloodthirsty predators. In their desire to catch their prey, these animals will stop at nothing. They move with amazing speed, they're always hungry, and they attack animals much larger than themselves. For example, an adult adult hare or a caper kylie. They might not be strong enough to kill it, but they'll try anyway. What can we say? Even when they see a man, weasels and ermines don't usually run away, but take a fighting stance and can even attack him. Of course, this attack won't be lethal, but it will certainly hurt. Giant's Trevally Many birds eat fish, and this will not surprise anyone. But what if it goes the other way round? The giant trevally is a predator living in the coral reef ecosystem. The largest of these species can reach more than one and a half meters in length and weigh under 80 pounds. The giant trevally eats fish, shellfish, and crustaceans, and the remains of turtles and dolphins were found in the stomachs of some especially large species. With their size, they can prey on animals this big. But this is not all. The trevally can suddenly jump jump out of the water and catch unsuspecting birds, dragging them underwater. We shall be relieved that this fish is still not big enough to consider feasting on a man. Black-footed cat this desert predator might look like a well-fed pet with an unusual color. It's easy to imagine a black-footed cat lying on an armchair or scratching on a post, but do not be deceived by the looks. In fact, this cutie is a bloodthirsty predator and a tireless hunter, although it's considered the smallest among African cats. On average, this miniature cat kills 14 small animals over just one night. It's unlikely that there's at least one mammal capable of boasting the same achievements. This is because the cat needs to eat at least 250 grams of food per day, which is a sixth of its average weight. This is a small but skillful and very aggressive fluffy killer. There is even a legend, according to which a black-footed cat can kill a giraffe if it bites its jugular vein. It's hard to believe something like that could ever happen, but if we assume that this cat suddenly decided to eat a giraffe, <laughs> Well, most likely, he'd stand no chance. Moreover, people don't know much about black-footed cats either. These animals are very secretive. Polar Bear Perhaps it's not a secret to anyone that almost any bear is dangerous, not only for humans, but also for other animals. It can catch and eat everything that looks or smells good enough, without exception appreciation for what this animal is. Cheers. Oh, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. The polar bear hunts only on the ice, mainly seals, ringed seals, and other marine animals. Throughout the year, polar bears follow the ice cover, and they do it for a good reason. It's easy to blend in with the ice when you have white fur. In such conditions, it's simply impossible to hide from polar bears, even in the ice-cold water. Polar killers can attack anyone if they are hungry enough. Scientists know cases when polar bears have even hunted walruses. To help you understand how challenging that battle is, here are a few figures. Polar bears weigh 400 to 450 kilos on average, while for walruses, the average is 800 to 1700 kilos. Could this stop the formidable predator? Not a chance. Yes, in a fair battle, the polar bear will most likely not be able to win, neither in water nor on land, but this doesn't mean that he won't try. If the herd doesn't defend its 
itself, it will panic and run into the water, and this is the perfect moment for the bird to attack. True, the likelihood of a successful outcome is approximately 50%, but for life in the wild, this is good enough to try. Drongo Unlike other animals in our video, African drongo birds are not cruel predators that can tear their prey to pieces. No, they are the main tricksters of the animal world. You thought only people can deceive others? Well, drongo can often be seen accompanying huge herds of large animals. These birds like to eat insects flying around. The drongo's diet is quite diverse too. Beetles, worms, mantises, butterflies, and even scorpions. Everything that can't crawl away or fly away fast enough to escape from a sharp beak of the bird. But the main thing about the drongo is their wits. They know how to imitate the voices of other birds, and they do it so masterfully that they can put parrots to shame. Drongos use their skills to get food though, or rather steal it from unsuspecting meerkats. Funny animals from the mongoose family. Yeah, the ones that stand on their hind legs and live in large communities. They communicate with each other with the help of certain sounds, by which they distinguish each other and alert about the danger. If a meerkat spots a predator, he immediately informs the others, and everyone hides. Have you already guessed how drongos make use of this? That's right, they imitate the warning signal, and when the meerkats rush to hide, they calmly collect their prey. On top of that, this intelligent bird changes its voice every time the meerkats realize that they were tricked and stop running away. Some drongos may even warn animals about a real danger a couple of times in order to earn their trust. Yes, that's just how tricky they are. However, sometimes the drongos take it easy and literally snatch food from the small meerkats who've not yet learned to be vigilant. Honey Badger if you've been surfing the internet for a long time, then you've probably heard the phrase, the honey badger doesn't care. At one time, it almost became a meme, and actually there is some truth behind this statement. The honey badger is a distant relative of badgers and weasels, and it lives in Africa, Southwest Asia, and India, and has virtually no enemies in the wild. In any case, there are no animals who would even risk hunting him, and this is not surprising, because the honey badger is a very aggressive and very brave predator that seems to be able to handle anything. Because, that's right, the honey badger doesn't care about anything. He was even mentioned as the world's most fearless creature in the 2002 Guinness Book of Records. The thick skin of the honey badger is so strong that most predators can't bite through it. The porcupine needles and even poisonous snake teeth are not a threat to a honey badger either. It seems that nothing can hurt it. Honestly, it shouldn't be called a honey badger, but a badger of death. The honey badger eats almost anything. Honey, berries, roots, larvae, insects, frogs, turtles, rodents, snakes, including poisonous ones, birds in their eggs, and even small cubs of other predators. He devours all parts of his prey too, including skin, hair, feathers, meat, and bones. No exceptions, because the honey badger is always hungry. This animal is known for its cruelty and endurance as well. The honey badger even attacks opponents many times its size. Lions? Not scared. Hyenas? Not a problem. Sheep and goats? No big deal. Horses or buffaloes? They were probably in the wrong neighborhood. This is the territory of the honey badger. Poisonous snakes are also on his menu. The honey badger can do anything when he's hungry. For example, he'll climb into a thorny bush to catch a mouse hiding there without hesitation. Ouch, that looked very nasty. But as you already know, the honey badger doesn't care. If he wants to, he'll even hunt small wild dogs, so the adult species will have to hide the kids deeper in burrows. Otherwise, they'll be hunted down by the honey badger. The honey badger can also get anywhere, and then get out of there without any trouble too. If he needs to go somewhere, no walls or gratings will hold him. The honey badger is not only a tenacious, but also a smart animal who can use improvised materials like stones, sticks, tires, and dirt to achieve its goal. For example, to get out of the pen and have a good bite. You've probably already realized that hunger can make the honey badger do absolutely incredible things. Even eating honey looks like a test of strength, because the bees, of course, are not happy that their hive was ruined. But the honey badger doesn't care. If he wants honey, he will get it, and numerous painful bites will not bother him. What is bee venom for an animal that can survive the bite of a cobra or a black mamba? And this is not a joke. For a honey badger, toxins that are fatal to humans are like sleeping pills. If Chuck Norris was an animal, he'd definitely be a honey badger. Psst.
podcast. Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.